hello guys hello youtube welcome to russo if you are tuning for the first time you're part of the family you're part of the real life you've been tuning for some white thanks for support thanks for watching the video and we do create short check those shots out today what i'm about to talk about if for those guys that don't know me i'm the host i'm giddy and you can also call me mobzik you can follow me on instagram i have a private instagram which is solely mobzik i also have a another instagram which is giddy lifestyle so the, the giddy lifestyle i don't follow anybody but it's only music i do follow people so i keep track of people that i follow and people that follow me on that instagram i don't want to keep you guys waiting i don't want to do a long video i'm gonna just get into the point so for those for the old time fans or for those that have been you know following the real soul content and what we've been doing the first ever video I ever, you know, published on YouTube was about budgeting on sneakers and, you know, just saving on sneakers. You know, that was my first ever YouTube video is the uh, Edge of the One Low. Then Edge of the One Low wasn't a thing, but now, you know, with Travis collab, another collab, Edge of the One has, is turning to a staple and it's turning to a like, hype sneaker. So uh, today's video surround thrifting i've been thrifting since 2019 or oh, literally say ever since i got to the state even way before i came to the state i've been thrifting like there's like a market back then in my country like in nigeria lagos it was called katangua some people call it super shout out to lambo we used to go there together just thrift like sometimes we find gucci we find like an other good stuff but you know coming out here american fashion you know you get whatever you want but man comparing the dollar to my country naira is a very big margin and all i want to be doing now is to save any money i can not with the inflation at the same time how can i save and i have some more passion for fashion i have some more passion for like sneakers wearing sneakers so the only thing I can turn to right now is thrifting or getting shoes under retail. You know, the resellers can do what they keep doing. And for those people that are saying the reseller are like the people that spoil the sneaker culture, mm, you might be right, but let's think about it. The said resellers spoiling the sneaker culture and some people end up, you know, using the money they used to prioritize their living, their well-being and all that, give it to a reseller. So that's something we cannot control. But what we can control is the way we spend our own money and dollar. You know, we have to be smart with it. We have to be wise with it. That's just my own advice. But coming from me, I have a lot of shoes that I pay myself for. And I have a lot of shoes I invested in, like kept on ice is in the vault. So yeah, so me personally, should I wear a shoe that I thrift? And you're gonna be surprised how many shoes I got just from thrifting, which I'm gonna share with you guys. I'm gonna share, I'm gonna show you the shoes, and you know you can tell me what you think about it. And most of the shoe is real, cause me I don't wear fake shoes. A U A U A stands for unauthorized, like it's like unauthorized sneakers. That's what people are on into right now with the resale market going crazy. So people are going for the UA. But at the end of the day, I don't know how much UA be charging. I think they are charging for retail or something. I don't want to get no UA but because I'm not in there for the hype. I'm not in there for like, yes, it was in my shoe. I'm in for the comfort and look good on me and what I feel comfortable in. You know so the ua can do what they want to do the resellers can do what they want to do you know if i have the money in the future of course yes i can cop but right now i'm just saving every dollar i can save so let me just show share with you i've got you know by thrifting over the years which you're gonna be amused so let's let's get into it. you can see I got I got this off of thrift shop. I got this from Second Ave. You can see the outsole right there. As you can see, 
I got this for forty dollars. You can see right there. The forty is right there below. So that's one sugar from thrifting. And I got this too. This new balance. So this new balance 990 V4. I also got it from the thrift store too. You can see it's in good condition. And I've been wearing this for like a year or two, a year and a half now. And yeah, this is also the outsole. I've worn it. So this is also from thrifting. And the second, and the third one, this, I haven't seen this Air Force One in anybody's life. And that's, that's one thing I love about thrifting. Like, is you rarely see the shoe on someone, on someone else's leg. Like right there, this is also from thrifting. As you can see, I've won. I've skated with this because of the material right here, the suede, and it has like a clothing upper right here. So, yeah, these are Adidas right here. This is the Adidas store, they stock that I haven't worn, but this I got from Tristo. So, I work out with this a lot. This is the toss on. I also got this from a, from a thrift store. And I got this Chuck Taylor Converse too. This from a thrift store. I should be sharing the prices with you, but I can't really remember. But it's nothing less than $50 from $10, $20 up to $50. I also got this from a thrift store, yo. So yeah, I've won this too. I've won it. And this Timberland, like, yeah, believe it or not, I also got this from a thrift store. You see, also, I've worn it, but I just take care of my shoe a lot, like, I clean my shoe a lot. So, you can see it right here, too. And the fall winter is coming, so I'm gonna be wearing this more often. I got this from thrifting. You see, it's just like new. If you know what you're doing, you're gonna see good things off of thrift store. And this, too, this, uh, uh, Nike SB Delta Force. As you can see, I got this from Tristos too. It's a Nike shoe and it's a skateboard shoe. You can see Nike SB. You see the size is still in there. It's like new. So if you take your time with thrifting, you're gonna get a good deal. And most of the clothes behind me right here too, I got I got it from thrifting too. Even the cloak I got on right now, shout out to Sota. I got it for thrifting. So it's like a thrifting. Uh, Instagram store that he, he just post stuff on the story and I just take a look at anything I like I let him know he just ship it to me and I just zone him cash up him on paper and what you can do this edge of the one the real ones too like when I check how much this is doing on stock I was so amused and they got the Nike at the back how many edge of do you see the Nike at the back recently I know right so yeah, I also got this from thrifting. See, and this LeBron too. This LeBron, I also got it from thrifting. As you can see, it's in good condition. You all see that most of these shoes are in good condition because what I know when I was working at thrifting is like a lot of these shoes are real. Some are fake, but a lot of them are real because people donate it and some people just abandon their property and in order not to just throw it away they bring it to the thrift store so as someone that work in the thrift store i know that because i've been seeing them a lot and i've just caught so yeah so that was one thing about thrifting for instance i might have a little collection right now and i just chose to travel to nigeria i'll go back home i never come to america no more like all those stuff are going to the thrift store. So that's more stuff. That's more that's how stuff actually comes into the thrift store. And some just intentionally donate it. So take your chances, take your time, go to the thrift store. You might find something good out there. Here you go. Those the Lebron. I later found out that a lot of people didn't cop this shoe, but I got mine from Trip Store. You can see I've worn it. See right there, I've worn it a lot. I've worn it a lot because I like it. It's so comfortable. I also got this from Trip Store. 
and this also so comfortable with the lebron i also got it from a thrift store as you can see it's also from a thrift store right here also from a thrift store so i got this from a thrift store too pants i got it from a thrift store as you can see i got it fast from a thrift store too and i i wear that skill with the vans too and actually this superstar right here you can see i customized this myself i got issue from a thrift store it was all white then i customized it as you can see so yeah I didn't do a good job because this is my first time customizing shoe, but I'm going to get into it very soon. I got a uh, cricket, I got my spray gun and everything. Yeah, I customized it myself. I put the Russo logo right there, as you can see. As you can see, I put the Russo logo right there and all that. So I also got it from a thrift store. So yeah, those are the shoes I got from a thrift store. And yeah, recently I got another shoe from a thrift store. It's very surprising that I can get I can get a shoe like that from a thrift store because I've never gotten a shoe that has like a eBay authentication tag off of thrift thrift store. And I got I got this from Goodwill. As you can see, there's the recent one. I actually want to start playing soccer and going to gym. So. I plan, you know, to play soccer with this. As you can see, the eBay authentication tag right there. This is the Adidas Samba in purple. And I checked the price off of um, eBay. It's going for like 180 or 95 right there. You see the also is a gum also. Another. And you can see it says Adidas in there. And these Adidas also. So I also got this from a thrift store and um, I got it for like $30. I, I, I posted a shot on YouTube. You can check it out. It's right there. How I went to the store and, I, and how I get it. So I just want to share with you guys. You no, know, there's a lot of money you can save just thrifting. And a lot of people can't afford to, you know, eat the retail store and get what they want. Each and name Zara. And so on and so forth but for those people trying to save money you know i'm going to advise you guys to go to the thrift store and i'm going to be sharing my findings because i'm doing more thrifting now so i will try to record and show you footage on aha thrift and the shoe i'll be getting you know for you to you know have clue on what to look for if you're in the state and if you're not in the state if you are elsewhere there's different places you can go thrifting i don't know but here in the state there's second half here in maryland there's um there's goodwill there's thrift america thrifting america there's a lot of, just google it thrifting store around me is going to pop up so that's what i want to share with you guys today i hope you enjoy this video and if you do please subscribe hit the subscribe button and a lot of people have been reviewing my videos without no subscribing please help the algorithm you know i'm back to put a lot of content out there it's gonna be surrounding shoes as usual clothing and just how to budget on clothing so and shoes so please subscribe and thank you